Ben, can I have a sticker for Nathan, since we're going around? Stella Ambler has been a conservative like MP before. Did you? Yay! Getting ready for a campaign is nothing new to her. I'm actually supposed to be there more like 1, 1 15. She's in the office 12 hours a day, already surrounded by her team. So Everything okay for today? Yeah. She clearly relishes it. Okay, okay, we, we won't bump into you. Willie the dog basically lives here now too. Okay, we're going out to do a little bit of door knocking. Okay, thank yes. you. <laughs> we'll, we'll add to the number there, 29,382. She and every party know that winning these suburban ridings in and around Toronto is key to forming government. Okay guys, have a good day. Last time, Ambler was up against the desire for change. This time, she may have to contend with another outside factor beyond her control. Just outside of Toronto, Mississauga Lakeshore has been conservative friendly in the past. To clinch a majority, it's even clearer, most of the six seats in Mississauga must be won. Ontario is open for business. And most recently, this riding voted for Doug Ford's Conservatives in the last Ontario election. But that was before Ford made cuts to education, the arts and the environment in a bid to balance the budget. We have to find small efficiencies across the board. It's not sustainable. Those cuts may have cost federal Conservatives a chance at winning some seats. At one point this spring, Doug Ford's government was polling as low as the previous Liberal government under Kathleen Wynne in its dying days. Looking at Andrew Scheer's actions. That was quickly noticed and exploited by Justin Trudeau earlier this year, who suggested a vote for one Conservative was a vote for another. And Andrew Scheer? Well, Andrew Scheer takes his cues from the Ontario Premier, so Canadians can expect much of the same if he ever gets elected. Cuts to the Canada Child Benefit, cuts to the National Housing Strategy, cuts to the OAS and to CPP enhancements. And on climate change in particular, he's no better. It probably didn't help that last fall, Andrew Scheer was on the cover of a much talked about issue of McLean's, posing next to conservative premiers with similar positions on issues like a carbon tax and government intervention, including Ford. At the annual summer gathering of the Mississauga Board of Trade, the talk is usually about how government choices impact business. But with an election in the offing, some of that conservative reluctance is on the table too. I think he's, he's stirred so many beehives. He's enacted too many things too quickly without a lot of public consultation. And I think it will work against the, uh, the federal conservatives. All I can say is that, like a lot of Ontarians, I'm not exactly happy with the Ontario situation right now. Others say while Ford could be a problem, he is doing what he should. Premier Ford has issues that he believes are important to Ontario, and he is going to be very vocal about those with any federal government. It doesn't matter what party forms the government, uh, he will put Ontario's position forward for the betterment of, uh, of Ontarians. The Premier himself has said he will stay away from the federal election, telling reporters this summer he and Andrew Scheer get along well, but Ford says he has other concerns. I've talked to Andrew and, and I'm, I'm the Premier of Ontario. i got to worry about Ontario. I'm not getting involved in this, uh, this election. It's unclear whether Ford came to this decision on his own or whether there was some conservative family pressure for him to stay out of things. Federal conservative sources now say they believe the worst of the negative impacts of Ford is over, unless or until he makes another move that will upset voters, something they ultimately can't control. Another issue worthy of discussion is... Uh... The Saga 960 radio station, as well as its Punjabi language station, broadcast to the country's sixth largest municipality, and they certainly have their finger on the pulse. Um, the Ford government's mandate now is to... Amik Singh is a full-time nurse, but on Saturdays he hosts an hour of political talk. He's voted for many different parties through the years. He's still open-minded, but he follows politics closely and has much to say. 
What about the Ford thing in this area? Because, yeah. um, you know, he's been pretty successful yeah. in the 905. Well, we, we've seen a lot of U-turns happen from, from the Ford administration, a lot of protests happening because of, uh, you know, you look at the autism file, the healthcare file, sure. the infrastructure file. Um, the promises made, promises kept is, is a slogan that they'd like to chime once here and there, but what promises are they actually keeping? Um, and to whom actually they're, they're beholden to. So Ontarians were looking for a big change. Sure. But what came with the Ford administration was the same old, same old for the most part. And people aren't happy with it. Think what's important Singh is worried about health care and climate out. change and so worried young people like himself just won't end up voting at all. It's a Advance the same argument. At some point, there has to be a trade-off. His slightly older colleague, Darshan Maharaja, a chartered accountant who also does a daily show, says there may be some regret around Doug Ford, but people can make the distinction between him and Andrew Scheer. Among the sophisticated voters, they see a difference between how the two levels, even at the party uh, level, are different. Mm -hmm. The condition that Ontario was in in June last year was very different from where we are federally. Sure. So the sophisticated voter is not uh, hopefully going to buy the argument that Andrew Scheer will do what Doug Ford has done. Oh, hi, hi, good afternoon. Hi. I'm Stella Ambler. I know. <laughs> that is exactly what Stella Ambler says, that Scheer is a different kind of politician, and voters are smart enough to make that distinction. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Jackie. By. Take care. Yep, bye -bye. you bet. Bye. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm Stella Ambler. Hi. I know well, you. I know you. <laughs> I voted for you. Thank you. Uh, and excellent. I will again. Yay. Yay. What about that, that Doug Ford thing? I mean, I know you know the MPP here in, yes, in this yes. writing. Um, but now they've done things and they've sort of upset yeah. some people. Have you heard yeah. any of that stuff at the Not door? A lot, Not a lot, surprisingly. Uh, you know, I think people here do sort of get that this is, you know, that they're voting um, uh, against J Justin Trudeau or you know, or for Andrew Scheer, or however you want to say it. I think in their minds they're separating what needs to be done provincially okay. versus what's been done, like, the last four years of Justin Trudeau. Mm -hmm. He also got his neighbor... So, not everyone thinks of Doug Ford when they think of Andrew Scheer, and the Conservatives, like Stella Ambler, will work hard to prove that over the coming weeks. Thanks so much. Have a good afternoon. But the political damage may already have been done in some parts of Ontario. <laughs> The hope now that the Premier of Canada's biggest province keeps his promise and stays out of the campaign.